Hi, I'm Lamont Garber and I'm with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and I'm here today at the Senate Agriculture and Rural Affairs Committee's listening session uh, in Africa, Pennsylvania where the committee led by Senator Mike Brubaker is hearing a whole range of issues from people in the community about important issues facing agriculture. I'm here today to talk to the committee about the Resource Enhancement and Protection Act, which is a proposal that is uh, soon to be before the House and the Senate. Uh, Senator Brubaker is a supporter of that legislation, um, as is uh, Senator Payton. And on the House side, Representative Stern and Representative Daly are also supporting that, along with many other co-sponsors. In a nutshell, REAP would provide tax credits to help farmers and businesses that work with farmers implement best management practices on key parts of the farm that provide for tremendous water quality improvements. And I shared today some um, important points about the, the legislation and why it would help farmers comply with existing and expanding environmental regulations and do it in a farm-friendly and private sector-based approach. So we uh, heard very many other presenters today talk about the need for that and we believe REAP would really help that situation. The other thing that um, I shared with the committee in written testimony is that the federal government has an important role to play as well and that role is to provide much needed conservation funding assistance to Pennsylvania and states surrounding the Chesapeake Bay, all of which uh, receive much less support from the federal government in terms of farm assistance than many other states, most other states in the country. The Chesapeake Bay Foundation is advocating uh, for a package of funding proposals under the 2007 Farm Bill that would provide a total of $200 million in additional conservation funding for farmers in the Chesapeake Bay region. And we will be supporting that proposal in the coming months and talking to our congressional and senatorial uh, policy leaders in Washington to achieve that. So I'm happy to be here and we're looking forward to an exciting new session um, in the House and the Senate. Thanks.